Welcome back guys. Today's question comes from Rashid who asks very wisely, my question to you is what kind of web hosting should I choose, Linux, Windows, or WordPress? So I'll try to explain the difference between these three very popular kinds of web hosting right now. So there actually is one that's by far the most popular, which is Linux. And if you go to a standard web host like hostgator.com, where I host all my stuff, you'll see web hosting in the upper left corner. And if you click that, this is all Linux. So Linux is the hatchling, the baby, the business plan. It's the most common plan. And you could just use Linux as a term for like basic. Um, when I started my first WordPress blog, I used Linux. You don't have to run Linux on your computer. You don't have to know what Linux means. Linux is just the most common hosting plan. Um, this is gonna be the same for most popular web hosts that you look up, whatever they may be, um, and it's all Linux when you start out. Um, if I do a command find and write in Linux, you can see that what we're talking about here is Linux. Um, since HostGator runs on Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, um, all of which you get if you sign up for this basic web hosting plan, then you can use thousands of existing applications like WordPress, Magento, Joomla, whatever you want to use. You can build custom websites with just basic HTML and learn that. So if I log into my web hosting control panel here where all of my websites are for blogs and clients and stuff like that, then we can see briefly what features Linux gives you. Um, I'm not trying to push you towards Linux, but if you want something common that everyone uses and starts out on and, and hardly ever leaves, and it's also the most affordable, then Linux is a great choice. We can just click on hosting. We can click on launch quick install, where we would install a Linux application, and we can click on, from here, WordPress or any one of the other one-click installs. If any of these interest you, that's great. Um, I use that WordPress one, and you can also see the other features that come with the Linux control panel. So you get like emails, AdWords credits, all sorts of metrics, security, software, domains, and more. And again, you don't need to know anything personally about Linux, that's just what they call it. All right, so what is Windows hosting then? The second part of Rashid's question. Well, if we go back to a web host, we can search um, on the homepage, and find Windows and see what they offer. So down below you'll see a link for Windows hosting and we can check this out. So it's it's obviously less common if it's in the footer down there. Um, they have two plans, personal and enterprise. So it's a little more expensive, starts at 476 per month instead of the uh, web hosting, which starts at 395 a month. All right, so if you're on a budget, then Linux beats Windows, but if you run Windows on your computer, um, or if you want to develop Microsoft specific applications or maybe sell them, then you should consider Windows. Um, you can still use popular applications and uh, it'll just run a little bit differently on your back end, um, but obviously it works great if they're selling it. I asked Google because I haven't used a lot of Windows uh, servers, so they say Windows and Win Linux and Windows are two different types of operating systems. Linux is most popular, uh, more features, um, but if you need specific Windows applications, then try a Windows host. So that's basically the gist of that. I don't know anyone who's needed that, um, but good to consider the difference. Um, and you know, usually people just go with the cheaper one. So that brings us to the last part of our question, which is WordPress hosting. WordPress hosting is kind of a combination of a lot of features go back to our web host, then we can just click on WordPress hosting and have this really cool landing page. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, so I think we're up from 476 to 595. Um, but when you use WordPress hosting, you get tools built in for speed, for ease of use, and for you know migrating and then you can see other comparisons. Um, WordPress hosting is basically a pre-configured WordPress dashboard. You don't need to go through any of the uh, intermediate steps in the back end. Um, when we used to install WordPress, we'd 
like install it ourselves, but this one you just click a button, so it comes out to clicking like one button instead of three buttons. I know that doesn't help a ton, but you're gonna wanna check out WordPress hosting if you're sure you're gonna use WordPress. It's a great choice. You get CodeGuard. I like this little slider here with the like bendy thing, like someone's squeezing it. You get CodeGuard, so you can have your site backed up and restored easily if it gets lost. You get SiteLock for increased web security. Protect from viruses, hackers, malware. Um, scans your website daily, so they get like a team of people monitoring your site a little bit more often. Um, you get the security from your SSL. SSL is that green thing right here. It says the green lock and secure. Instead of uh, not having the secure thing, like this right here, just get the I, not secure. So that's cool. You get that um, if you want. And that can be a Google ranking signal. According to Neil Patel and the studies he's done, you can rank higher in Google for keywords and for searches if you have a HTTPS, also known as an SSL. So they did a couple studies, and one of them was on this site called CloudTech, and you can see their Google rankings actually went up when they switched to um, you know, the HTTPS. That's what these charts are telling us. And Google themselves said that it's a ranking signal. So it can be one of those things where if your competitor doesn't have an SSL and you do, then you rank higher than them and you get a lot more business, which is something to obviously consider. All right, so this also comes with, lastly, domain privacy so that people can't see who you are just by your domain name. They can't call you if you get telemarketer calls. That will happen a lot less. A little more expensive, but definitely worth considering. And I have one of these plans. It's worked great for me. Um, I just feel a little bit more powerful, you know? It's like getting the deluxe package in a car or, you know, getting like a combo meal at McDonald's instead of just getting a couple cheeseburgers and a chicken nuggets or something like that. Um, but the nice thing is you have choices you can go ahead and get whatever you want. Um, and the last point is the most important thing to consider when you look at what web host to choose and what hosting to choose is which ones are blogs actually running? Like real blogs that you read and you like reading, which ones are they running? Uh, a lot of people just talk about web hosting and they're really good at like marketing it and affiliate marketing it and selling it, but that's all they do. They don't actually run blogs like you wanna start, like my food blog or my blog about life or finance. They're just out there on social media saying, oh, this host is the best because this, this, and this. Let's make a website with this host. But if you really look into it, they don't run a real blog or a real website, which you're trying to run on your own. Um, they're just marketers, if that makes sense. So consider that. Um, we actually run real blogs over here. I run Dear Blogger, which is a large blog with over 4,000 subscribers and a lot of real content that talks about a lot more than just web hosting or which is the best web host. Um, so, you know, consider that we actually go through what you want to do. We're here for you doing blogging for real and not just talking about web hosting. And I also run other blogs. So, you know, I won't talk about all of them, but we've been through the ropes, actually went through advertising, went through sponsored posts, tried to get sponsored by Honest Tea and, you know, uh, Sony and all these other companies and wrote guest posts. So helps to go with someone who's actually been through what you want to do. All right, that's all I'll say about that. I hope that helped explain um, the difference between Linux, Windows, and WordPress hosting. Again, Linux is the most common, the most basic, so it's a really great place to start. But um, you should always do your homework and you should always ask questions uh, like Rashid did. So if you have any more questions about what is the best web hosting platform or the best web hosting package to choose for your new blog or website, drop those down in the comments and I'll help you out. Or someone from our community will jump on top of it. Thanks so much to Rashid for uh, asking this question which inspired the video and thanks so much for watching you guys because I really enjoy making these for you. If you learned something here, make sure to hit the like button and if you want more videos or you want to stay up to date if I answer one of your questions, make sure to subscribe. It is free, of course. And uh, yeah, that's all we got for now. So I'll see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for watching.